South Africa has been sending research teams to Antarctica since the 60s. The country has one of the oldest and most established Antarctic research programs, which provides crucial information on the largely untouched environment. The impact of global warming and climate change are among the key focal points for the team of scientists. There are parts of Antarctica that are showing some uh, uh, breakage, uh, some, some glacier movement. There are other parts that are increasing. So there's definitely movement. How that will affect South Africa and the Southern Ocean? The recent loss in sea ice shelf break illustrates what's unfolding on the White Continent. Not only the atmospheric temperatures are increasing, but we are now seeing also the oceanic temperatures are increasing, especially we are seeing warm water approaching the ice shelves on uh, West Antarctica. So the warming is both from the atmosphere and beneath the ice shelf. Family members and friends came out to bid a farewell to the S.A. Gullis too. It's carrying tons of scientific equipment as well as building materials. This year's team will also include 25 specialists in engineering, construction and computer networks who will be spearheading a modernization program of South Africa's Antarctic base. Doing some basically the flooring, putting underfloors and some new tiling, new bathroom systems, um, jet vacuum system in the base. We refurbish everything, modernize um, new systems, we do the gas suppression systems, we basically I do the electronics, electrical as well. The ship is expected to take around two weeks to reach Antarctica, which means the crew will get to enjoy a traditional white Christmas. Ravis Andrews, CGTN, Cape Town.